coach whenever you're ready. If you want to preview this upcoming week, and then we'll open it up for questions. All right, really excited about uh, next two opponents. Uh, great opportunities ahead ahead of us with Vanderbilt being first. Well coached team that has um, been through a lot of ebbs and flows due to injuries, but um, they've been playing extremely hard. And in my opinion, they have been getting better every time they they step out on the floor. Um, you know, it's just great to be two and zero. Um, but we can't even bask in that for too long. We kind of just got to focus on this this next slate. Um, as a program, we look at things in four-game pods. And so we have two more in this pod. And um, in, a, in a perfect world, we'll always like to go undefeated. Uh, but worst case, we'll take a two-and-two two situation um, as we try to put, put ourselves in a position to go to the tournament again. Uh, because of the work we've done in the non-conference. But uh, we're taking it one game at a time. I know that sounds cliche, but we really mean it. Uh, Vanderbilt up, and um, we, we're excited about having a good crowd and and um, uh, playing a complete game. What does it mean to, to, you know, to go 2-0, obviously mm -hmm. the 2-0 part, but for this team you're still trying to get to play as best basketball confidence-wise. What does this start mean? It means a lot, you know. I was talking, I was talking to to Madeline and those, and I think the last time we went two and zero was two thousand seven. Two thousand. This some about two thousand seven. <laughs> it was two thousand seven. So, you know, I, I'm not one of those that, you know, I try to celebrate the wins when when we get them. You know, I'm not one of those that want to wait until the end of the season. And no, two and zero. That was great. You know, I really. You know, praise our team for going up into Starkville. You know, that's a lot of really talented players that went up in there and didn't win. You know, including some of mine, Shakira and and those guys, but our mentee, all of them. You know, and and I knew it was big when I heard from Kara Ross, Van Chancellor. You know, everybody was hitting me up. I knew it was a big win. So, you know, and and, and like you said, we're just getting started. Um, Offensively, we still have our woes, uh, but now we're starting to focus on that now that uh, we feel like our defense is in a good place. So hopefully you see that improve. Um, there's news this week uh, that, you know, maybe the NCAA is taking another step toward potentially expanding the tournament. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious whether that's something you would like to see happen and how that would impact this program. Well, I guess, you know, I don't really have a thought on it because I hadn't thought too much about it, but if it's going to get us in, I'm all for it. <laughs> I really don't know. You know, I try to I try to coach basketball and let the people that make the decisions make the decisions. But if they were to ask me, you know, it's, it's like college football, right? You know, I really love the four teams. But how mad would it be if four more would be in there, you know? So I, I don't – I think both can be – uh, good. As long as it's growing the game and giving more teams exposure, you know, I'm all for it. You talk, fair boys coming in where you wanted to hang your hat and say yeah. that's when we need to play our best. Sure. But how that y'all got through December and have started January, you feel you're on schedule slightly ahead, or I mean, how do you feel? About um, this? I think we're on schedule. I think I think we're right where we need to be defensively. We're figuring out some things offensively as a team, identity wise. We are really, our girls are like, oh, maybe we can be pretty special, you know? And that's good because first you have to believe it and then you have to put in the work to kind of see it through. Um, you know, we knew going on the road at Mississippi State would be tough and they, the fans were out and it was, it was a great basketball environment. Um, and so, and, and we felt like we had a good crowd, fan base um, versus Auburn. And so we're just going to continue to build and continue to grow and continue to make steps. Now, a lot of that has to do with how your conference schedule is, too. You know, um, I, don't think, I don't think Mississippi State was a quad one. So we hadn't had a quad one game yet. I think that will come in the second or third of our four-game series as we look at it. Um, so, so this is perfect for us um, to be able to play teams that are even, so to speak, and uh, be able to come out with victories. 
got last year now to kind of fall back mm -hmm. on. How do you kind of handle the, now that you're in January, the, yeah. the, the tournament talk? Mm -hmm. and the, Just how do you, having last year, go about that? Yeah, you know, it's different because this year it's a situation where it's a different team. Last year we had never experienced it. And I remember saying in the locker room, I said, how many of you been to the tournament? And, you know, we have about 20 people there in the locker room, staff and everybody. And it was like three of us. <laughs> this year we only have two people that hadn't been in the whole locker room. Our, a freshman, and obviously she just couldn't, and then uh, one of our transfers. Everybody else has played all the way up to the Elite Eight, you know, with Maya. So that's huge for us as far as experience is concerned. So there's no need to, like, make it a secret. Last year, we didn't even tell our team about the four-game pods until we got close. Um, I think we had lost, like, three games, and we needed to get them to focus because to people, to, to the outside, it looked like, I mean, we lost three games, but not to how us. It was like we lost two in one pod and we lost one in another pod. So we were fine. And so we had to educate them on this. This year, we're going straight in. Hey, these are our pods. And, uh, you know, Vandy and A&M allow us to finish out this pod. So we're focused on, on them. And then we'll start another pod. And so um, – and, and our team wants to go to the tournament. Once you get there, like, you want to get back. So it's no secret that that's what they want. And we're, I'm excited about this group and helping them get there. Maddie said that uh, Maya's kind of y'all's quarterback or yeah. y'all's team, team mm -hmm. mom or something. Yeah. But having her here, does that kind of mm -hmm. help replace just that experience and, and leadership that you lost at Shakira maybe? Yeah, you know, I think um, a lot of things have helped. Again, the experience. You know, Angel has been to the NCAA tournament three times out of her four years. All of Maddie Snuder, they they have all experienced it. Maya's ultra experience. I mean, shoot, everybody in the locker room, you know, has had that experience. I think that has helped. Maya is definitely our quarterback. She's the one that makes us go. I don't think people understood the pressure she was under with even the uh, Auburn game. That uh, Johnny, the head coach, was her coach at Mississippi State when she was there. And then – to go back in the gym. I told her, I was joking with her. I'm like, dude, you're undefeated in this gym. <laughs> uh, whether you're against me or with me, you know, you're undefeated. Um, and so it's that's a lot of pressure for someone um, her age. She, got, she was met with booze and chairs, you know. Um, and so her resiliency and her toughness is what takes us to another level. But I can tell you this, I'm starting to see – Maddie, Angel, Snuda, who's been incredibly consistent. I'm starting to see them kind of take ownership in this year and this process, Team 48, and it's really cool to watch. I'm, I'm curious. I mean, that, that four-game pod, mm -hmm. that seems pretty pretty unique. I yeah. mean, why do you feel like that works for you, and, and how did you start that? Because head coaches, you know, we usually have short-term goals and long-term memory. So for us, it's like I started it last year. My um, video guy, Buck, know that I can get incredibly anxious. And uh, I have, like right now, I got 20 tabs open in my head, you know. Um, and so the four game allows me to shut, close some of those tabs down and say, okay, yo, you can focus on four. And we started it last year because we wanted to get to the tournament. And I think we went into – conference play we went in 12 and 1 so we felt like if we can win eight games in conference we're in <laughs> and we play and we play 16 games so if you went two every four that's eight <laughs> and so and so um it it really helps us relax and it really helps us key in as a staff and so we got two so right now we're like it's like a relief. Now, obviously, we want to win tomorrow, but if we didn't, it wouldn't be the end of the world because as far as we're concerned, we took care of business uh, on the front end. We also know that if we can win this game tomorrow, man, that makes up for maybe a fall somewhere else where maybe our pod has multiple quad one teams in there. 
Uh, so it's just, I don't know, when, you, when you're a coach, you try to find ways to, like, keep it small and keep it focused, you know. And we look at every game as a championship game. We want to go 1-0. and zero, But uh, the four-game pod allows us to look a little bit ahead but still focus. On to the Vanderbilt matchup. Sorry, I kind of switched on yeah. this here. But um, they have the second highest score in the SEC, and Kasha Harpson coming to town. Yeah. What do you like from her on film, and, and how are you going to have to guard her? Yeah, I mean, she's shifty. We we tried to recruit her. You know, I drove to St. Louis to get that kid, and and so this is a beef. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, but she's she's pretty talented. She can score in multiple ways. And we like that. You know, we had a young lady come in from Southern Miss that averaged 29 points. I think we held her like six, and so we we're gonna accept the challenge, and um, really focus on trying to make it um, incredibly hard for her to score. Now, I think if you're a scorer, you're gonna score. So our job is to make it hard for her to do it. You know, just like with Jessica Carter. You know, you can't stop those kids. I don't think people can stop Angel, but they can definitely try to make it difficult for her. Any other questions for Coach? Great. Thank Thanks, everyone.